I'd like to share with you a little story. I've told it before, some of you know it, about how by staying in the OM, you don't change the world around you, but you change inside so that the world doesn't bother you. And this story took place in 1979. Swami Kriyananda had asked Jyotish and me to move down to the San Francisco Bay Area, to San Francisco, to start an Ananda work there. And we had been living at Ananda Village for 10 years, the first 10 years of its existence. And but with reluctance, I went. I, we agreed to go. Of course, we said yes to Swami, but inwardly, I didn't want to live in a city. I didn't want to, I was unfamiliar with San Francisco. I didn't feel comfortable driving in big city traffic, but the Swami asked us. So we, of course we said yes. And that first summer Swami stayed with us and uh, he would lecture, he gave big talks and then weekly satsangs at different churches and a good group of people began coming, good sincere people. and. Um, a solid work was being established. We found a very nice ashram house. We moved into it and everything was on its stable footing. And then Swami said, well, it's time for me to go back to leave you and you all are in charge. And it was a little bit scary, but we thought, well, we'll do the best we can. And then it was the last night before he left. And he said, let's celebrate. He was such a celebratory spirit. And he said, let's go out for a nice dinner. We went out for a nice, I believe it was Italian meal. And then he said, I'd like to go see a movie and let's see what's available. And so we went to, we looked in the paper and there, this was the time when you looked in the paper. And there was an art house, movie house, that showed classic movies. And they were showing one of Swami's favorites, Pride and Prejudice with Laurence Olivier and Gur Garson. And so we didn't pay a lot of attention to, I mean, we got the address, but where it was located and what time we would get out. But we went and we saw, and we had to park, it was Saturday night, we had to park very far away, walk, I don't know, five or six blocks to get to the theater. We saw it, we enjoyed it so much. And then it was time to leave. And then the reality dawned. And I think Swamiji actually set up the whole experience. And we realized we were in the red light district of San Francisco. It was Saturday night. It was about 10 o'clock, 10.30 at night. And we had to walk six blocks to the car. And it was like, oh my God. We went out on the street and there was everything you can imagine. It was like a little, little Hades right there. And people were selling drugs and everything. And we thought, we've got to walk to the car. But then Swami, it was amazing. You could feel, and I think he did it for us. I think it was his last gift for us. He, it was like the prow of a ship. And we all, there were about 10 of us, and we all followed behind him. And we walked through those streets, through all the depravity and the sorrow and suffering. And it was like nothing could touch us. We were in Om. And for the remaining, and we got to the car, and it was, it was really quite, not only extraordinary in the moment, but a permanent legacy. Because from that moment on, I was never disturbed or afraid of being in a city. I drove wherever I needed to go. And our life has been one of um, frequent travel and going to many new cities, many new places, places we weren't familiar with. But that gift that Swami gave us, I've never felt uncomfortable wherever we had to go, whether we knew people or didn't know people. And so what did Swami do there? He brought us into the Om and he said, I can't change the world. I can't stop a squall or make the rain stop. Maybe he could, but he wasn't doing it. But I can help you realize how to live in the world, but not be touched by it if you stay in Om because that's where it all comes from. That's the origin of it all. And that brings you back into the stillness and the peace and the light of God. 